Hi, I'm Amanda from Math Counts, and I'm going to show you how you can use the school handbook to prepare your students for the competition series. The handbook is the primary competition preparation tool. It includes 250 original math problems, which are designed to boost problem solving, critical thinking, and math skills. In addition to being a fantastic competition resource, it also can be used to enrich classroom instruction. So let's take a quick look at some of the most important parts of the handbook. As soon as you open the book, you'll see a guide for new coaches. If you're new to coaching, we strongly suggest reading through this guide for new coaches and watching the video about competition resources. The handbook problems start on page 13 and increase in difficulty as the book progresses. At the end of the book are an answer key, step-by-step -step solutions, and a problem index that maps all 250 problems to the Common Core State Standards and specific math concepts. Let's focus on the different types of problems found in the handbook. The handbook contains warm-ups, which are designed to prepare students for the sprint and countdown rounds of the competition, workouts, which prepare students for the target and team rounds, and stretches, which can help students on any of the competition rounds. We'll start with warm-ups. Like the sprint and countdown rounds, warm-ups focus on speed and do not allow the use of calculators. But the similarities between warm-ups and competition problems go far beyond speed and mental math. Let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison of the first few problems of this year's handbook and last year's school competition sprint round. Right off the bat, you'll notice both sets include a measurement problem and a fractions problem. Take a look at number four in the warm up and number three in the sprint round. These problems cover the exact same skill. Essentially, all that's changed are the numbers and formatting. The same expert question writers who make the handbook create the competitions, so these problem sets complement each other extremely well. Another reason the handbook is so useful is that it allows you to expose your students to a lot of different math counts problems. Here's one common type of problem in the competition series. Let A smiley face B equal 2A minus 3B. What is the value of the quantity 1 smiley face 2 all smiley face 7? This is just algebra but in order to solve it, students need to do extra problem solving. You might be thinking that this would confuse your students on test day, but take a look at these warm-up problems. They truly are the perfect way to get your students ready for the sprint round. Let's take a look at workouts. Like the target and team rounds, workouts focus on problem solving, are often multi-step, and allow the use of calculators. We'll look at a couple target round problems from last year's school competition. Notice these problems are word problems. This is common for math counts. Students are challenged to be good readers to pull up the most relevant information from the problem and then pull from a number of different math skills. This is what helps students become great problem solvers. Notice these two problems require logic skills, problem solving, and general math, but take a look at how these workout problems mirror the structure and challenge of the target round problems. Stretches are problem sets that focus on a particular math topic, so they can be helpful on all rounds of the competition. Let's take a look at what makes stretches great. Here we have one of this year's stretches. Even though this is about fractions, you'll notice that students will actually develop a number of skills while solving these problems. This helps your students apply what they already know and think creatively, which will help them solve competition problems. Now for the secret sauce. I glossed over the step-by-step -step solutions at the beginning of this video. These are as important as the problems themselves. For every single handbook problem, we provide not only an answer key, but a solution, which is a step-by-step -step explanation of how to solve the problem. I cannot stress enough how valuable this is. You do not need to be a math expert to be a math counts coach. Chances are your own math skills will improve through coaching because the handbook often includes creative solutions that reflect a different way of thinking. Please note, these step-by-step -step solutions are only available to registered competition coaches. Every coach receives a hard copy of the handbook with these solutions in the school competition kit, as well as online access to the handbook with solutions. That's the handbook in a nutshell. We hope it's a valuable resource for you and your students.